Okay, so Captain Marvel has been an interesting week. It's been a very interesting week for the film because it's been almost like nonstop fights over it, it feels like. I mean, even I've kind of given into that a little bit with some of my titles. Look, I, I read the comments. I see what you guys are saying. I, I probably should have focused more of my endgame commentary on the movie and not with Captain Marvel head on for makeup. So you live and you learn. But the second weekend, my friends, the second weekend box office is upon us. The the whopping $155 million or 153, I think is what it made. But who's really counting here? But anyway, it's it made a lot of cash. And the second weekend is going to indicate whether or not the movie was going to actually uh, go towards a billion or it was going to crawl back in its hole and die. Truth of the matter is it actually did surprisingly well here by showing off that Captain Marvel box office drops just 55% in second weekend predicted to now cross 1 billion saying by now you likely know that Captain Marvel is going to win another weekend in theaters hauling in over 69 million domestically for its second weekend in release. Those numbers indicate Captain Marvel will have strong legs as it heads deeper into the box office run only dropping 55% uh, from the numbers the movie posted in its opening weekend, while that may seem like a hefty drop on paper, it happens to be the smallest decrease of any movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. In fact, only six of other 20 MCU films have featured a smaller drop. So that's the reality. It's doing quite well. That's good. That's 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 good that people are enjoying it, I, I, I guess. Right? I'm not here to, to, to bitch about the movie. I've done it already. You guys already know my thoughts and opinions. It's not the end of the world that it that it won another weekend, but it's definitely telling that it didn't hit 70 million. And I know 69.3 million is a bit of a nitpick when I, if, I'm, if I'm being honest, I get that. But, you know, having the drop it, that it had, uh, it's one of those things where it had a drop and it, it, you can tell that, you know, people went to go see it based upon probably strong word of mouth in its opening, but, you know, who knows if it's going to have a lot of repeat viewers. Now, yesterday, I was at the Emerald City Comic Con in Seattle and I ended up talking with a lot of people about Captain Marvel just in the general conversation because people like, you know, talking comic book movies and what's out right now and all that stuff. And pretty much everyone I talked to all kind of said the same thing. It was just all right. It wasn't anything to write home about. It wasn't anything really special. But people enjoyed that that it wasn't very special. That's actually this is a guy I talked to that said it reminded him of a phase one movie. And the fact that it reminded him of a phase one movie actually made him more nostalgic for it because it was kind of like a stumbling forward. You know, the building blocks of the MCU. But it's kind of weird to me that we're 21 movies into this franchise over the span of 11 years and people are OK with a movie that feels like it was made in 2008. How weird is that, right? How how utterly weird is that mindset? But look, that's their mindset, and that that is what it is. So the way that I currently look at it is like this. The movie is a success, okay? All the criticism surrounding Brie Larson's commentary didn't really amount to much of anything. A lot of people liked the movie, and that's okay. All I can hope for now is that they learn from their mistakes, that they listen to what the fans have said about the middling plot, the fact that there's no real danger for Carol the entire movie, that it's just kind of, it feels like a 2008 Marvel movie, that it doesn't really advance anything in the MCU, and that they learn from that. And that's, I think, what we as fans want overall. Now, is this going to cause Brie Larson to come out and start, like, you know, trying to box the trolls and whatnot? No. No, I think at this point, Brie Larson is going to look at this as a win and and everyone at Marvel does not want to actually keep the backlash uh, going. I, I don't think I don't think they, they do. I think they want it over like the rest of us wants it over. We all want to see good movies. Now we're in the now we're in the official hype for Endgame because they dropped the trailer in the middle of the week after the last movie came out rather than releasing it beforehand and getting everyone hyped up and jacked for freaking Endgame. I mean, I guess they wanted to wait because of the 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 Captain Marvel bit at the end, which which I understand. Uh, it's just kind of weird overall, isn't it? it kind of feels a little bit weird overall. But you know what? It's another Marvel movie. It's going to gross a billion dollars. I'm just hoping the next one's better. I'm hoping the next one is more interesting. I'm hoping for more Ben Mendelsohn because he was pretty freaking awesome. Um, and uh, other than that, I, I'm hoping they they do a lot to kind of maybe retcon the character for Endgame, make it a little bit more powerful or make her uh, not more powerful, make make it a bit more believable that she has these powers. Because keep in mind, the Tesseract gave her her abilities. 
who's got the Tesseract right now, right? Thanos. So he could take him away. Now that's an interesting plot point that could then bring some, you know, actual vulnerability to the character, which is what a lot of us just want out of watching that movie. So we'll wait and see what happens with any luck. It will be something good with any luck. People will walk out of end game and go, you know what? Captain Marvel's not so bad. Uh, and then maybe we can get past this particular fight.